40 million Americans travel the nation's interstates every day, and at no time is it more dangerous than in the winter. Charisse Briscoe nearly met a tragic end on this highway on a cold January morning in 1997. The drama began when the young mother stopped on the side of the road following a minor fender bender. Soon, Officer Kevin Schultz arrives on the scene. I was trying to start an accident report, get their information, and uh, get them off of the freeway because it was dangerous down there. Charisse is upset about the fender bender. I was pretty shook up about it. But her day is about to get much worse. I walked up to her. She was standing between her Cadillac and the freeway. And I asked her when it happened. About how long ago do you think it happened? 20 minutes ago, maybe? Yeah. My back is turned towards oncoming traffic. And all I heard the officer say was, watch out. <laughs> I noticed that a uh, pickup truck had spun out and hit the median wall on the other side of the freeway. Um, it must have hit another car when changing lanes, sending that vehicle into uh, myself and Ms. Briscoe. The out of control sedan plows into Charisse's car, hitting both her and Officer Schultz as it ricochets back into traffic. I just felt like a little rag doll just being tossed in the air. Officer Schultz rushes back to the squad car to summon an ambulance. Everybody stand up here. 46 space, we need an ambulance out here with the As terrifying as it may look, the accident left both Charisse and Officer Schultz with only minor injuries. Toronto, Canada. A pedestrian is about to take a walk on the wild side. <laughs> Watch again. This truck barrels through the intersection, barely missing the fleet-footed young man. First, he dodges a truck that thunders through a red light, then has to leap out of the path of a careening car that's been smashed by the truck. Breathless, he lies on the side of the road, having just cheated death twice in a matter of a few seconds. Salt Lake City, Utah. This state capital is renowned for its wide open spaces and beautiful scenery. It's the city Utah Highway Patrol Officer Greg Lundell proudly calls home. People here are known for their friendliness, so it's no surprise when Sergeant Lundell stops to help a motorist stranded in a rainstorm on Interstate 15. I just called the closest one. Road conditions that day were very wet. It had been raining for all of that day, all that night. So it was real wet. But what happens next is completely unexpected. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Antonio Garcia is the stranded driver who barely escapes a grisly death. It's an incident you'll never forget. You know, just went like real slow motion. It's True what they say about that, you know. Watch again. Two hydroplaning cars careen out of control. The swerving sedan barely misses Antonio. Turned around and all I seen was that driver, the driver coming at me and had their mouth wide open, just looking at their window, and then uh, all of a sudden, phew, everything just happened. Instead of hitting the men, the two vehicles crash into each other. Fortunately, no one is injured. The driver of the sedan was okay. We were real lucky that these crashes had no injuries. Everybody came out okay. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, colliding with another car is the most common form of fatal or serious injury on America's roads. And that's something Antonio Garcia is taking to heart. Nowadays, I strap the seatbelt on all the time now. 